Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to review the new Nika launch. This one, uh, it's the Molten Matte Collection. This is their lip and cheek color. Um, and their whole theme with this is matte flicks and chill with the collection, which I thought was really cute. Um, this is what the entire collection looks like. And they are all named after famous TV female characters that they were inspired by. They're all named like Rachel, Carrie, Blair, there's Hannah, Samantha, Arya, and there are 12 colors in the range. Um, this is what all of the colors look like. They are all priced at rupees 525, so that's a good mid range price. And let me just show you what the packaging looks like. So, this is what the outer packaging looks like, and then this is what uh, the packaging of the lipstick looks like. It comes with a doe foot applicator this is very similar to the lacme lip and cheek mousse um, the formula is also pretty similar so if you guys have tried that then this is exactly like that color of the molten matte lipstick correlates to the color of the packaging so that's really helpful when you are you know arranging your lipsticks it's very easy to kind of understand and pick up the color that you want to apply uh, the shade is called Miranda and uh, formula wise this is what it looks like it applies very very easily and it is a mousse formula so it's a soft matte uh, that dries down matte it takes a little while for it to just dry down but once it dries it dries down like matte and you can also use this on your cheek and it leaves like a nice tint because of the mousse formula in it it's very easy for you to kind of spread it across your cheek and because this is a mousse and not a liquid lipstick you can see that it goes on a little patchy but once you apply on top of it it kind of becomes okay uh, the color payoff i think is really nice and it looks exactly like the packaging so that way it's easier for you to buy online as well just by looking at the packaging uh, so yeah that's all the color range because there are 12 shades um, is quite good as well but i just wish that there were some there were some more darker colors i wish they went uh, on a little more experimental with the colors and not just like the usual nudes and pinks and red i wish they had like some more da darker colors because uh, with a mousse like formula darker colors look really nice um, and i'm also very excited to try on the nude lipsticks because with the mousse formula um, it just is really comfortable on your lips it's made with uh, argan oil and shea butter so i usually like love wearing nude lipsticks on my lips on a regular basis and something that is really soft on the lips is a nice formula to wear on an everyday basis so i'm looking forward to trying the nudes so those were all of my first impressions of the range now let's move on to the swatches so this is the first shade it's called Rachel and this is what it looks like it's a very soft brown I actually really like this color I think it would suit a lot of Indian skin tones um, the formula in itself is quite li like liquidish so it's taking some time to kind of settle onto my lips as you can tell that I have a little glossy finish um, but the color is like this on natural light. I just have a window here. Uh, and yeah, this is the first color. I think once you let it sit for like 10 minutes, I think this should settle down like completely matte. I'm not really sure about the longevity of it, but the color in itself and the formula and the feel is really nice. And I also love that it does not really feel the, the smell in itself is not too um, overpowering. It's actually quite nice, um, but very comfortable on the lips. And I actually really like that color. I don't feel like taking it off. That makes, that goes so well with the eye makeup that I just did. I really like this. So it's been half an hour since the application and this is how the lipstick looks like. So it settles down quite matte, um, unlike when you first apply it, unlike how you've seen it on the swatches. This is how it looks. I am wearing the shade Rachel right now. Now that I've taken the lipstick off, the after effect of the lipstick is actually really calming. Uh, it does not feel like 
my lips are like stripped off it actually feels like i've just applied some lip balm and i've removed it feels very comfortable so the next shade that i'm trying is called carry looks like a pinkish nude this is actually exactly like the color of my lips this is like a my lips but better nude oh my god i love this this is so pretty the doe foot applicator is also really nice like it takes out a lot of product you don't need to like dip it in twice to kind of have a full opaque application and this is carry it's so nice oh my god i love this one as well this also goes really well with the eye makeup that i did i'm wearing the new smashbox la cover shot eye palette yeah that's the one next i'm trying on blair This is really pretty as well. It's a soft pink with purple undertones. This would look really nice on darker skin tone. They actually don't apply as patchy as I expected them to be. And this is what Blair looks like. It's a nice purpley pink. Let me know if you guys like this shade. I really like it. And I love how comfortable they are on the lips. It's actually, by the time I'm on, I'm on the fourth lipstick for a lip swatch video, my lips are like dead, especially with like liquid lipsticks. But this looks so nice. Next we have Hannah. This is what Hannah looks like. I am not really a big fan of this sort of cool toned pinks. Um, they could have easily like just not have made this color because I feel like there are so many of these colors like already available and gone a little bit more experimental. Uh, but yeah, this is Hannah. It's a nice cool toned pink. Let me know if you guys like this. So now I'm applying Samantha. Oh, this is a nice shade. I really like this. It's a deep raspberry sort of pink. It's showing up red on my camera, but it's more like a deep fuchsia pink. It's showing up glossy because I just apply it, but I think you'll have to let this color sit for a while for it to completely matte down. But I feel like for the initial application, you are going to get a glossy one, just like this, which I am not complaining about because I feel like these are better when it comes to like the comfort on your lips. Now I'm trying Aria. Ooh, this is so pretty. You know what these reminds me of? It reminds me of the Rimmel apocalyptic um, lip lipsticks. Yeah, like formula wise and opacity wise, it's so similar to the Rimmel apocalyptic lipsticks. Uh, I remember having a color exactly like this and this is so stunning. It's very similar to the previous color, except it has more purple undertones. It's uh, a deeper fuchsia. This would look so nice on almost any skin tone. What do you guys think of this one? Um, are you guys like a fan of deeper pinks or deeper reds? Let me know in the comments down below. This is Miranda. This is what Miranda looks like on my lips. Um, it's a very orangey red. Again, something that will look nice on most skin tones. And this is what it looks like. Next, I'm trying Monica. So this is what Monica looks like. Um, it's a deep brick red. 
Next, I am going to put on Serena. Serena was actually one of my favorite characters from Gossip Girl, which reminds me that I haven't actually watched Friends and I can tell a lot of these characters are named after characters in Friends. So this is what Serena looks like. It's a beautiful plum color. It's like this berry-ish plum color. Has a little bit of purple undertones to it. Now I'm gonna apply Phoebe and as I was saying that I haven't watched Friends and a lot of people actually get shocked when I tell that. So this is what Phoebe looks like. Um, I wish they had even cancelled this shade because there are so many generic fuchsia shades already available and I wish this was like a darker shade like a dark brown like a true dark brown that would look so nice with this formula um, but yeah this is what Phoebe looks like again uh, a lilac sort of pink a light fuchsia the next shade is Spencer uh, again like a purpley sort of a shade Let's see how it looks on my lips. Yeah, this is like a proper violet. This is pretty. This is a very summery color. I'm glad that they included like a purple in it. It almost looks pink on camera, uh, but it's a purple. This is what Spencer looks like. Lastly, I have Charlotte. This is again a purple slightly deeper than the previous one so i think this would look better on deep to medium skin tone and the previous one would look nicer on fair to medium skin tone i can imagine this looking really stunning on my mom formula is actually so nice i love that i've swatched 12 colors and my lips don't feel like they're about to fall off uh, but yeah those were all of the colors let me know which one was your favorite did your favorite character's name make it to the uh, range what other colors you would want to see in this range if they ever want to extend it i would personally love to see like some more variations of like red and like some deeper browns i wish they came up with like a brown collection uh, the nudes were actually my favorite from the range all um, of the three colors that's Rachel Carrie and Blair were I think some of my favorite shades from the collection especially Rachel and Carrie I think those two were my favorite ones um, but yeah that's all for this video thank you so much for watching let me know if you guys enjoyed this let me know what else you would want to watch and that's it thank you so much make sure you are subscribed so that you get to know every time I put up a new video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!